Do you know why power lines work even though they install at such a great height? I mean, shouldn't they be swaying in the wind when they're as tall as a 15 floor apartment building? In this video, we're going to find out what keeps them running. Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we will talk about vibration dampers used in transmission lines. By the end of this video, you will understand what is this? What is a vibration damper? How does it reduce vibration in transmission lines? And what parameters should you consider before buying this? But why should you listen to me? At Axis, we have been manufacturing a wide range of electrical hardware for overhead lines, including vibration dampers, for the past 30 years. You will see our products installed in various rural electrification projects and utility scale applications in more than 100 countries. So why are we discussing these vibration dampers? These dampers are the backbone of the transmission line system. They reduce vibrations and shaking caused by wind and other factors. Without dampers, power lines and their hardware can break because of too much movement. When conductors in the power lines vibrate, other hardware like insulators can fail. Power lines can also get weak from bending too much. All of this leads to expensive repairs, replacements, and even long blackouts. In simple words, a vibration damper is an overhead line fitting that lowers the vibration in the system. But how? How do they work? As you know, weather changes bring wind, snow, and temperature fluctuations. Strong winds cause the power lines to sway and vibrate, while extreme temperatures make them expand or contract, leading to sagging or tension issues. The vibration damper absorbs the aeolian vibrations. This vibration is a high-frequency, low-amplitude oscillation caused by steady winds blowing across the power line. It is named after Aeolus, the Greek god of wind. But how do these dampers absorb the vibration? They use a principle called inertial damping. The damper has weights attached to a cable or messenger wire on either side. As the power line vibrates, these weights move out of sync with the vibration, creating opposing forces that cancel out the motion. Vibration dampers also work by absorbing some of the oscillation energy, which is the kinetic energy of the vibrating power line. This reduces the vibration amplitude and stress on the conductor. You will find these vibration dampers installed along the length of the transmission lines at regular intervals. Because vibration can occur at any point, having dampers spaced out ensures protection for the entire length of the power line. Apart from ensuring safety, they also help reduce the general noise that's generated by the vibrating conductors in the wind. This noise reduction is crucial in urban areas where transmission lines are close to residential areas. Before we go ahead to discuss the different types of dampers, I have a small request. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video, but also subscribe to our newsletter where we will share product installation techniques, product and design standards, applications of various products, and general updates on the electrical industry. You will find the link in the comments. Now, Let's discuss the types of vibration dampers. Firstly, the stock bridge damper. They have a weight in the middle hanging from two or more steel wires. The weight fights against shaking while the end parts called the clamps push back against the wind. They are used on lines in areas with consistent winds such as open plains or coastal regions. Secondly, the twin conductor damper. They are used for power lines that run side by side and they have a heavy part in the middle hanging from two wires. These dampers are designed to fit between two closely running power lines. The middle heavy section stops the shaking in both the lines at once. Thirdly, the spacer damper. They control shaking on high voltage power lines that use spacers. Installed directly into the spacer units, they have a bracket that pushes against the wind. These dampers are designed to keep power lines steady on big power systems. Now, let's discuss the materials used in manufacturing vibration dampers. A vibration damper has three main parts, the weights, the clamp, and the cable. 
Each part is made from different materials. And let's look at each one closely. Firstly, cast iron. This material is used for the weights in the vibration damper. It is easy to shape into different sizes and it doesn't rust quickly, so the dampers last longer. Also, it is hard to dent, helping dampers survive hits from any flying objects. It's also quite heavy for its size, leading to strong dampers that aren't too big. Secondly, aluminum alloy. This material is used for the clamp in vibration dampers. It is light, so it doesn't put extra weight on the main power line. Also, it does not hinder the current flow, helping electricity flow freely through the power line. Thirdly, galvanized or stainless steel. These materials are used for the cable in vibration dampers. They are light, making them good for thin wires that don't add too much weight. Both types of steel resist rust, helping the cables last longer outdoors. They also repel water, which protects the damper during rain. Galvanized steel has a protective zinc coating, while stainless steel has other metals mixed in to make it strong and rust resistant. I hope you now have a clear idea about why vibration dampers are used in transmission lines. At Axis, our team of over 50 engineers are ready to assist you with designing, installing and testing your electrical hardware. Clients worldwide trust and install our components in various settings, including transmission and distribution lines. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about electrical engineering.